Notice. Our courses are taught in English. If you want to see subtitles in other languages, first, we open the subtitles closed captions at the bottom right of the video. Then click setting and select subtitles CC and click auto translate. Now you can choose your preferred language from the list. Good morning everyone. Let's introduce the easily damaged parts of the S17 Plus hash board. First of all, we will explain the ASIC chip BM1397AG. This chip is very important. If it is damaged, the hash rate will be reduced, or there will be no hash rate. Then take a look at this chip. It is a PIC chip. Once the PIC chip is damaged, it cannot store the information of the hash board and also cannot control the DC output of the hash board. This chip is a memory chip. If the chip is damaged or there is a problem with the program inside, the hash board will not run normally. Next, look at these four chips. They are all MOS tubes. If the MOS tubes are damaged, the main power supply for the hash board will not be able to reach the voltage domain. It is a temperature sensor chip. If the temperature sensor chip is damaged, the control board will not be able to read the chip temperature of the hash board. At this time, the log kernel will report the fault of temperature error. Then let's look at this chip with 8 pins. It is a 1.8 volt LDO tube. Its damage will affect the voltage of the ASIC chip in this domain. The chip here is PLL 0.8 volt chip. After it is damaged, it will also affect the operation of the ASIC chip corresponding to this domain. Finally we will explain SY8120i chip, it is a synchronous step down DC converter. If the chip is damaged, this domain will not have PLL 0.8 volt power supply, causing the hash board to work abnormally. Okay, thank you for viewing. If you have any question, please leave a message.